Mali Empire. The Mali Empire, 1240 to 1645, of West Africa was founded by Sundiata Keita, 1230 to 1255, following his victory over the Kingdom of Sasso, 1180 to 1235. Sundiata's centralized government, diplomacy and well-trained army permitted a massive military expansion which would pave the way for a flourishing of the Mali Empire, making it the largest yet seen in Africa. The reign of Mansa Musa I, 1312-1337, saw the empire reach new heights in terms of territory control, cultural fluorescence, and the staggering wealth brought through Mali's control of regional trade routes. Acting as a middle trader between North Africa via the Sahara Desert and the Niger River to the south, Mali exploited the traffic in gold, salt, copper, ivory, and slaves that crisscrossed West Africa. Muslim merchants were attracted to all this commercial activity, and they converted Mali rulers who in turn spread Islam via such noted centers of learning as Timbuktu. In contrast to cities like Niani, the capital, Jen, and Gao, most of the rural Mali population remained farmers who clung to their traditional animist beliefs. The Mali Empire collapsed in the 1460s following civil wars, the opening up of trade routes elsewhere, and the rise of the neighboring Songhai Empire, but it did continue to control a small part of the Western Empire into the 17th century. The Sudan region of West Africa where the Mali Empire would develop had been inhabited since the Neolithic period as evidenced by Iron Age tumuli, megaliths, and remains of abandoned villages. The Sudan region of West Africa where the Mali Empire would develop had been inhabited since the Neolithic period as evidenced by Iron Age tumuli, megaliths, and remains of abandoned villages. The Niger River regularly flooded parts of this dry grassland in Savannah, which provided fertile land for agriculture beginning at least 3,500 years ago, an endeavor greatly helped by the region's adequate annual rainfall. Cereals such as red-skinned African rice and millet were grown with success, as were pulses, tuber and root crops, oil and fiber plants, and fruits. Fishing and cattle herding were other important sources of food, while local deposits of copper were exploited and used for trade. Similarly, gold was probably locally mined or panned and then traded, but concrete evidence from this period is lacking. The Ghana Empire, 6th to 13th century, was the first major political power in West Africa to create an empire based on military might and the wealth gained from regional trade. Not geographically connected to modern-day Ghana, but located to the northwest, the empire was in serious decline by the end of the 12th century. Beset by civil wars, rebellions of subjugated chiefdoms, and poor harvests, the empire began to disintegrate with a large part of its territory taken over by the kingdom of Sasso, aka Susu. When the Sasso king Samanguru, aka Samaro Kanti, are, from 1200, imposed trade restrictions on the Mali region, the native Malinki, Mandingo, tribe rose in rebellion. Sundiata Keita, aka Sanjata or Sanjata, 1230-1255, was a Malinki prince, whose name means Lion Prince, and he waged war against the Kingdom of Sasu from the 1230. Sundiata formed a powerful alliance of other disgruntled chiefs tired of Samanguru's harsh rule and defeated the Sasu in a decisive battle at Krina, aka Karina, in 1235. In 1240 Sundiata captured the old Ghana capital. Forming a centralized government of tribal leaders and a number of influential Arab merchants, this assembly, Bara, declared Sundiata the supreme monarch and gave him such honorary titles as Mari Diata, Lord Lion. The name Sundiata gave to his empire, Africa's largest up to that point, was Mali, meaning, the place where the king lies. It was also decreed that all future kings would be selected from the Kato clan, although the title was not necessarily given to the eldest son of a ruler, which sometimes led to fierce disputes among candidates. 